Good morning and a very warm welcome to Frugalful. My name's Lara. This is a frugal living and budgeting channel. And Halloween is nearly upon us. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit silly. I do love Halloween. It's one of my favourite things to celebrate. It's such a fun time. So today I thought I've got things to make for the week anyway because the way I'm eating at the moment has changed a little. So I'll tell you about that. So I need to do a bit of batch cooking and food prepping anyway. So I always enjoy bringing you along for the journey. And this time it's a special Halloween theme as well. So about food, first of all, what I was going to say is, oh, and then Miss Bella has come on the scene. She always knows. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, right on cue. So first of all, what I was going to say regarding food is that I've started eating in a different way in the last week or so, which is much smaller amounts, but more often. And I feel like my body's much happier for it. I still don't tend to eat till late morning, so it's kind of like a fast, but not necessarily a full 16 hours. I've also cut way back on my milk consumption and I've cut back on carbs. I am still having carbs, but I'm having more sensible amounts. And I've already lost, I think one, yeah, eight pounds. I've lost eight pounds. Now that's fast, but I feel like what happens when I lose weight is I tend to lose weight quite rapidly at the beginning and then it really slows down and reaches a plateau and then it's very difficult to get past that. But my body's definitely happier eating in this way, which is great. So one of the things I love to have in the office, I love soups, absolutely love soups. They're so nourishing, so nutritious. It's also a great thing to have on the go because I just put it in a flask and then that's it. And then I can have lunch on the move, sit outside if the weather's good enough and have a lovely nourishing soup. It's just such a satisfying, healthy, and really budget friendly option. And unlike the store bought things, when we make our soups, we can choose exactly what we want to put in. And at this time of year, I do love some root vegetables in my soups and some spices. Please share with us in the comments what kind of soups you enjoy making or having when you go out. What is your go-to kind of soup? I would love to hear all about it and I'm sure others would as well. So today I'm going to make a lovely nourishing soup with a Halloween twist and also some really delicious snacky things that are great on the go. They're nourishing, they're healthy, but they're going to have a slight Halloween twist which makes them a bit less healthy this time. But they're a great energy source for busy people. I've done a video related to them before, but I thought I'd bring them back today because it can be done in many different ways. So I look forward to sharing that with you. It's a no cook recipe. It's very frugal, very delicious and very healthy. So we will get into the kitchen, make those. And then I'm gonna also share with you today another frugal activity because when I do batch cooking, I like to potter and do something productive at the same time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ingredients for soup, curry powder, pepper, a stock cube. Now that's a lot of this is going to be using up leftovers in the freezer. This is courgette. I'm not using all of this, but this is some leek and some white onion but I'm going to put in also red onions. There'll be a bit of each of these three, so it'll be like a nice medley. From the onion family, 
using up some carrot and swede mash, using up these carrots here, and also in this tub I've got some carrot mash that I'm just going to use up, make space in the freezer and get these tubs back. I will put in some mushrooms and I'm going to use up the rest of these green beans. I'm going to use up this celery. Also, this is coriander. That's a kale and spring onion blend. And this, I don't actually know what this is. I'm guessing it's some kind of allotment leak or something, but it might as well be used. <laughs> so those are all the things going into the soup. Oh, and did I say garlic? Garlic too. Also, either one or two tins of tomatoes, I meant to say too. Let's get chopping. <laughs> It's very, very full, so I need to let it reduce and melt down a bit so it all actually fits in there. There is not enough room to have any celery. That's going to go back in the freezer. That's not a bad thing, because I do use chopped celery for the sausage thing. See previous video for the sausage thing. And I can't remember if I told you, but... I also put beets in there, they're from the allotment and even though they're a very strong flavour, they're amazingly nutritious. So that's everything. I think because of the water that's in the frozen veg, it's just going to be the one tin of tomatoes. And it's actually been a no chop. This is so good. So low maintenance to make. So easy. So I will be mincing the garlic into it. But other than that, my only dish is the two tubs and the garlic mincer. So that will be literally it as far as washing up. How good is that? I just stuck everything in the slow cooker and put it on high to start defrosting the veggies. So they're reducing down and then that's enabled me to fit them in the slow cooker because the whole thing was overflowing. So I'll put hot water in this, which will go in and that will be the total liquid going in. Curry powder, pepper, and the all important final spooky ingredient is some Halloween shaped pasta from Lidl. It's such fun stuff. So it was such a bargain. I think it was about £1.50 or something. What I did last year is when they reduced it, I bought some in bulk. So it was half price. So it was even more of a bargain. So I'll be putting some pasta shapes in and it will be like a kind of, um, I was about to say ratatouille or ravioli. No, minestrone. It'll be a sort of minestrone style autumn Halloween themed soup. I'll be back soon with the progress. The Halloween broth is still bubbling away. Do you see the witch's fingers? And the eyeball slices? <laughs> 
I added an extra tin of tomatoes and an extra tin of water. May have been a mistake. We will see. It's going to be bubbling away for another maybe hour or so. And in the meantime, in the meantime, while I have a wee coffee, time to use up even more leftovers and make the spectacular sweet treat. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because I'm missing a key ingredient, so I'm going to improvise. <laughs> Nut butter. There's about half a cup. I'm just using up my leftovers from this one and I've put some of the new one in. Oats. These are two big ingredients, the oats and the nut butter. There's supposed to be something like honey or agave. I don't have anything like that and this could turn out really bad. <laughs> I'm going to use up this lemon and lime marmalade and just see what happens. <laughs> going to put some dried fruit in, maybe some goji berries, some sultanas, something nutty and seedy. So there's some sesame seeds and there's some chopped almonds and there's actually also some shredded coconut. So I'll use up some of that. I might put some maca powder just to use some of it up. These are kind of strange additional ingredients, things like that. I might put a bit of a cocoa powder in for sweetness, but I don't know actually, because it's going to have the, no, I think I'll leave that because it's going to have the lemon and lime flavour. So the final thing is going to be some spooky sprinkles to make it Halloween-y. I'm going to just chuck all the ingredients in here, give them a good mix, shape them into balls, because we are making eerie energy balls. So here goes, let's do it.
lunch is finally, finally ready. I am so looking forward to trying this. Here it goes. Mmm. That's good. I wasn't sure with all the beetroot how it was going to turn out. It's really good. I think I overdid it with the curry though. But I don't mind that. The spice is very healthy and delicious. Yeah, that's lovely. I'm going to enjoy that. Mixing the order of things up a bit because I really want to try one of these with you just now. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, that took forever to chew. <laughs> well, it's just crumbled all over my kitchen floor and my leg. Whoops. <laughs> so, too crumbly without the honey. So I would need to eat it over a bowl or something. However, here we go again, here we go. and it's very, very chewy. However, the flavour's good. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the strange concoction with lemon and lime marmalade was going to taste like. Very, very good. It could probably do with being a wee bit sweeter, but it's healthier without too much sugar, so I'm happy. So thank you very much for joining me today for a spectacular Google haul. It's been so much fun to make these Halloween themed dishes with you. Have a fantastic Halloween week. Love you.